Not that kind of Christian here, speaking to you from a very wet Bradwell this morning. This would be a fairly short video. Uh, those of you in the know, those of you who watch YouTube, those of you who are and aren't Christians, even atheists and agnostics and people of other faiths, uh, might have come across a black American pastor, large imposing man, called Pastor Body. Pastor Voddy made a video today on cisgender, yeah, and uh, started actually quoting gay and even trans people on this. Cis means, as far as I can, uh, I'm concerned, just a, um, you know, a, a, a person who identifies with the gender they were born with, yeah. However... Pastor Voddy uses uh, these kind of identifications as saying that, um, I don't know, how can I put this? It, it, he's really, again, saying that homosexuality is a sin, being LGBTQI is a sin, it's a perversion of the, quote, natural order of things, it is wrong. And then, of course, he goes and spreads kind of support for this by saying that uh, the likes of Kinsey and whatever, who sort of took new sexual freedoms and whatever to a level they are at now, he says something like these people who demand this sexual freedom and freedom to be who they are and whatever – might well get to a point where they're going to demand that it recognises their attraction to children, prepubescent children. There's this kind of idea he's putting forth there, trying to say, well, you see, if they can start indulging in things like that, yeah, if they can start doing unnatural things like that, Where's this going to lead? Are we going to say it's okay, you know, to to be sexually attracted to children? He's using it as, well, it's an argument, I think, just to essentially have a go at those who are LGBTQI+. It's an argument to have a go. It's what I would call, a, he's putting forward a kind of slippery slope argument that society is getting so liberal, so tolerant, so, you know, all, all the restraints and whatever of the past are all gone. And you better watch out. Yeah, because if you don't mind, if you don't watch out, we're going to have people in that ilk of that ilk of that particular group and he's clearly aiming this at people who are lbgtqi he's saying well you know really yeah it's, it's um it's horrible it's unnatural um and you must stop another one he always does um he identifies being lgbtqi plus as a lifestyle choice why do so many Christians, especially like him, go, it's a lifestyle choice. Now, you can just as easily choose Jesus and you can choose not to do it. It's not a lifestyle choice. It's who you are. I said to him, you know, a lifestyle choice would be like who you choose to hang out with, what kind of car you drive, um, what you drink, yeah? But this is no lifestyle choice. I'll get back to you later. Just one final thing to add, uh, I do find 
that extreme fundamentalist Christians, like Pastor Vody here, are actually wrong in what they think about people's sexuality. They're completely wrong. And they will even slur people who are lesbian, gay, transsexual, bisexual, transgender. They'll slur them by making this kind of um, interjection or trying to get you to believe that they have something to do with being paedophiles. It's so common among these people. I think it is absolutely disgusting. It totally disgusts me. And if you were to watch the whole of that video Pastor Voddy was included in, you'd see that's exactly what he's doing.